Hello, my name is Israel. You may pronounce it something like Israel. It's fine. <laughs> I'm from Lima, Peru. And well, this is my first tutorial uh, for After Effects in English. I talk Spanish actually. So I hope you can understand me. And what we are going to do on this tutorial is a food rig. Uh, I found um, Duix Auto Rig very useful for this. I'm going to show you how I use it to uh, get something like this. Uh, check, check this. I have the controller. It has inverse kinematics as usually with Duik. But uh, we also have these controls. We have this that will let us rotate the foot based on the tip of the foot. We have this one that lets us rotate uh, based on the heel. And this is my favorite foot roll. And we can make this. This movement is very important for doing walk cycles because it uh, it gives more realism to the walk cycle, to the, the way we actually move the, the feet when we walk. So I'm gonna show you how Duik can let us do this very easily. So let's start. Before I forget, in this video, I'm gonna do this rig using uh, Duik, but in the next video, I'm gonna use rubber hose to get something like this. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to my Illustrator file. You will be able to download these files, don't worry. Just check the description of the video. And as always, it's uh, each part is a, a, a group, a layer. This one is tied, calves, and the shoe is just uh, one group. We're gonna make it flexible using puppet pins in After Effects. Uh, I have a layer with the markers with these ones, just to use as reference for uh, the anchor points and pins. And this layer is, is very important. It says uh, it's called heel, and uh, Duik is gonna use it as a reference when it creates the rig. Uh, oh well, I call my names. I named my layers uh, using uh, an A to start because I usually name the leg in front A and the one in the back B. I just have one leg on this video on this uh, file so I just have uh, everything named as A. Okay now I'm gonna press Ctrl 0 to go to my project and I'm gonna uh, import these files again. So first is Food rig Duik. Import composition layer size. Okay. Double click. And to start, I'm gonna lock this layer. Control L to lock it. Uh, BG for the back background. Uh, I'm gonna lock it too. And now I'm gonna fix the anchor points with this tool pressing shift and there it is and same thing for this one I don't need to fix uh, the food anchor point because we're gonna use puppet pins so I'm gonna go here and if you are using the latest version of After Effects, you're gonna have a new engine for the puppet pin. 
but you can use uh, the legacy one so we're gonna switch it back to legacy I find it more comfortable so with this selected I'm gonna start creating pins uh, uh, by the way you uh, don't wanna activate continuously rasterize for this layer it's gonna mess the puppet pins but you can activate for the others okay so uh, this is very important don't activate uh, continuously rasterize to the shoe so first click here and if you uh, have density here instead of triangles it means you are using the new engine so here change it to legacy and if you click here now it says triangles 500 is okay expansion tree it's fine expansion is this border so tree is fine now the next pin is gonna be here where the toes are gonna rotate and the last one needs to be here in the tip now it's very important that you name everything with a unique name so as I told you I use A for my front leg and this is gonna be called A foot A toes because it, this is gonna control the toes and A tip perfect now uh, select this deform you go to doic and click on bonds and it's going great we have these bonds and now with my selection tool we can control this now the next step is really easy you just need to select everything but the shoe we don't need the shoe so here you go to auto rig uh, you have to be in plantigrade that is the option for bears humans etc uh, well and the rest so you go here back leg this window appears and since we name everything correctly from illustrator uh, this is gonna automatically select the right layer but you can double check so tight tight calf calf foot foot toes toes tip tip e heel perfect just hit ok and i'm gonna uh, click here on cancel to go back and my controller is really small so i'm gonna click here controllers instead of a small i'm gonna i'm gonna hit medium and update i'm gonna click here again because i'm gonna choose these options not this one update i'm perfect i think i'm gonna make it big great oh don't uh, don't click on create it creates a new one click on update perfect now it works we have this but it's going backwards so f3 uncheck this and here it is it works fine we can rotate we can move it it has the inverse kinematic on the right direction and we have these three controllers these are the ones that make the magic so tiptoe makes our foot rotate from the tip heel from the heel and my favorite as I said before this one now this is kinda bending and I don't want it to bend like that so we can return to shoe we can hold 
uh, or click here go to puppet start tool and click here uh, amount of one percent is fine we can pull like 40 or maybe 45 or 50 so this is gonna protect that area and now when I bend that it's going perfect stays flat and the rest of the foot bends and that's it you can use this technique for the other foot and you have everything you need to make a more real walk cycle and of course you go you can use the shy uh, a switch to hide what you don't need actually you don't need any of this you can oh you can make this layer child of foot uh, of the bond we created so it follows it follows it and that's that's better then we can shy this shy lock this and shy shy it and same thing here we can even hide it completely and you actually only need this to control the foot and all the rotation we already saw and that's it you can check how this uh, this leg was created control Y you can see uh, these are perfect cir cir circles here and the knee here in for the foot so when they bend it looks smooth and that's it I hope you enjoyed this do it is is great for creating these rigs uh, a new version is coming very soon so i may be updating this tutorial and in the next one we are gonna uh, basically create very similar controls but using rubber hose so if you liked this tutorial please leave a comment and please subscribe that's gonna help me a lot to create more tutorials and please share it share it with your friends or anyone you think uh, it's gonna benefit from this if you can uh, go support Duik, the creator is on patreon he's great he's creating this for free so, so if you can help him go support him on patreon and um, if you want to see more of the work I do, you can follow me on my social accounts. You can follow me on Instagram. I love to share my, my projects and especially the process. Like motion pads, uh, like this kind of example. So feel free to visit my Instagram. The link is going to be on the description. And you can follow me on Facebook too. I always share uh, resources or uh, well my projects and some uh, courses I create in Spanish. So I hope to see you soon and see you on the next video.